Hey, what's up guys? My name is Chris Ray. And I'm Martin Phobes. Welcome to Motion Clubhouse. All right, so today we want to talk about the newest system from Polar Pro, the Recon, right? This is pretty exciting. It's a matte box system that's also going to be great for your filters. It's very versatile. We re recently shot a commercial with it. Uh, if you guys haven't seen that, the link's in the bio. It was a lot of fun. We went with the Big Bear. We shot with a bunch of friends. We had a great time. Uh, but you know what? Let's figure out what this thing does. Martin, you're the technical guy. What do we got here? Yeah, <clears throat> so Recon is a three to six stop variable ND. You can push it to an additional 7.5 stops of ND. That's huge. So this guy yeah. goes straight onto the lens right now. Yeah. Okay, let's throw this guy on right now. So this is a, a we have an 82 millimeter on here, right? Does, does the Recon work in multiple sizes or is it just 82 millimeter? Recon is only 82 millimeters, but okay. they have step up rings on the Polar Pro site that will, can adapt to basically any lens. Perfect. Um, but this lens right here is actually 82 millimeters. So you can go ahead. Funny, man. We got fall. <laughs> Cue you the, go ahead and you, leaves. yeah, you literally just screw this thing on like so. I always love their, their gold look. You always know that it's Polar Pro when you see the, uh, the gold trim on it. I like that. And so this right here, this is the new, new design. Um, so you can actually, you can have variable ND, right? And then you can also stack filters. So they have a bunch of different effect filters. They've got ND, they've got uh, mist, they've got, they have blue anamorphic flares, gold anamorphic flares, and all of these can be stacked directly on top of the variable ND, which has kind of never been done before. And what I do like about this is how easy it is to just use these springs right here, right? So you don't have to actually get your finger on the glass ever, which is nice. So I can just take this, plop this right on, right? And I'm good to go. That's amazing. And then if you want even more control over light or you just want your camera to be built out a little bigger, you have a little clip on map box here. Yep. So this so is going to help you get rid of the flares, which is nice. Show us how this thing goes on. So this, you got a clamp right here. I don't know if you can see that. You have a clamp right here and this lever right here. So make sure the clamp is up and straight in from the front. And clamp. And then lock it down. I like that. Ready to roll. And you got, now you have a full on map box, in which you can still access and load in filters from the front here. That's amazing, super convenient. Also, I don't even know if we told you guys. See this little signature here? Peter McKinnon, the legendary Peter McKinnon product. So he helped design this thing with Polar Pro, so you know it's good. Okay, so I see right now that we have a VND on the back right here, right? We have three to six as an option, right? You've just thrown a ND16 on here, right? So that tells me that we're basically able to double up on our NDs and, and get more out of it, right? Yes, correct, yeah, so you can either run it as a normal three to six, say you're in, so you just need a little bit of ND, but not a ton of ND. You can run it just with the three to six. And if you're in a super bright, you're out in the, you're out in the middle of a park and it's very sunny, you can just throw this guy on and it basically just boosts your ND and you're kind of good to go. That's without, awesome. without having to actually take off the variable ND, re-screw on another one or something like that. Um, so it's cool, you can just use the same, same base system and just kind of swap your filters as needed. So, after using this on our shoot, what would you say is probably your most favorite thing about it? My favorite aspect of it is just the design and how versatile it is. Um, you can really get a lot done with just one filter system. Um, and we were shooting, I shot the whole thing on the Sigma Cine Zooms and I actually really like that. Um, so I don't know if you can see but they they made the design of the filter. It's actually, it's actually sticks out from the lens, right? So on the Sigmas, if you have just like any other brand, they're generally pretty small and they actually kind of hang on the front of the lens, and it's really awkward to take it on and off. Whereas this design, it actually sticks off to the sides here, and you can really you can grip it if you need to take it off, or you know, it's it's just a lot easier to access as a variable ND. I'm a huge, I'm personally a huge fan of the, uh, the effect filters. So being able to put the uh, blue anamorphic on there or the uh, gold anamorphic streaks, I thought that was pretty cool. It's, again, it's very simple, just clamps right on and then boom, we can just throw those right on there. I thought that was very convenient, very nice. With the base recon package, they include this little step up ring called the delete. Mm -hmm. And the idea of this is say you're inside, you're, you're shooting indoors and you still want to run an effect filter. 
you might not necessarily want to have an ND on, mm -hmm. um, but you just want to use your filters you yep. have. So this, yeah, you can take that, you want to pop that guy off. Um, so this is basically just a step up ring that will work with these filters. So you can just load them in from the front, just like, just like on recon. So this is perfect. If I was shooting, let's just say we've had this situation before. We were shooting uh, in a subway station in New York, right? Obviously light is a lot lower. And then all of a sudden we step out of the subway station and we've got bright light. So in that situation here, where we're gonna be running the delete maybe in the, uh, down below in the subway station, and then boom, we can just toss on an ND and we're ready to go. We're, we're good friends with the people at Polar Pro. We use their filters a lot. We trust their quality. Is there anything that you notice with this one where, regarding like color shift or uh, quality of glass that you were concerned about? No, uh, the color is absolutely amazing out of these. Um, I haven't noticed any green or weird color shifting. Um, been very, very happy with it. And you can, you can check out all the footage from our latest uh, video that is probably launched by the yep. time that this video comes out um, with Polar Pro that shows, it's all shot on the recon system. And it also features the recon system. Um, and for, for those of you that can't find it, we'll make sure to put that link in the bio. Is there is there anything else on cool. the market that's like this? Um, nobody is doing this. Nobody is stacking NDs or stacking filters on top of VNDs. You know? Yeah, we've done that. We've actually had ghosting issues, right, in the yeah. past with, with trying to double up on some filters. So it's something you got to be careful of. Yeah, it's a cool system. Definitely thinking outside of the box. Uh, definitely catering to actual filmmakers needs and people who are just actually working out of a backpack working on the go it's it can be small it can be nimble it can be larger if you need to have a map box and have a bigger build on a you know a bigger set it can really kind of do it all yeah if you guys happen to get your hands on one please let us know what you think of it we would love to hear your feedback on it uh, it's something that we're super happy with very proud that we were able to help shoot the commercial for it um, again pull a pro thank you for designing a product, like Martin said, for us filmmakers um, and worrying about our needs and making our lives easier. Thank you guys. Thanks a lot. Make sure you like and subscribe. I'm supposed to say that or else Gage gets mad at us. He's back there nodding. He's back there nodding. We did our jobs. Let's go shoot something. Let's go shoot something. Let's go shoot something. Let's go. Shoot